Hey everybody, so I can't remember when the last time was that I filmed an update on this. I know so far I've done a separate video on the tiles, how I updated the tiles in the shower. I did a video on the countertop, how I did the faux marbling paint. And I think I started to film some content on how I painted the lower cabinets on the vanity and maybe, maybe I also talked about the shelf behind me too. Hey everybody, it's Tiffany. So in today's video, we're going to be painting the vanity cupboards. Um, so I did this last summer, which I haven't actually uploaded the video yet, but I had used the Gianni um, cupboard transformation kit in the shade Oxford Blue, and I had painted my kitchen cupboards, and my kitchen cupboards were exactly the same as these ones that are in my one of my upstairs bathrooms. So the exact same and the exact same hardware. So I'm not going to paint these blue though. Um, I'm going to be painting them white. So the first thing that we're going to do is start by um, unscrewing here so that we can get the doors off of the hinges. And then once we have the doors off, we'll take the handles, the handles off as well. But today I'm doing the second coat of the DAP, D-A-P, Drytex product. So this is the um, dry time indicator type. So when you put it on, it goes pink like that. So there's three spots. Oh, there it is down there. So there's three spots that I've done so far. This is the second coat, like I was saying. So this is really good because... Um, well, I mean, I'm not entirely done using it, so I don't actually know if it's really good, <laughs> but I chose that product because of the time indicator so that when you put it on, it's pink and then when it's dry, it turns white. So because I've never worked with any type of spackling product before, I just wanted to know, to be able to easily and confidently know when it was actually fully dry so that you can put the second coat on because it, I think the instructions say it needs to be dry before you do the second coat. So I had put the first coat on and then sanded it. Well, sorry, I, I sanded it, then I put the first coat on and then I sanded it again and now this is the second coat. And these holes for contacts, well, not holes, but these damaged areas in the wall are from where I took off my um, toilet paper roll and my towel bar. So I had a towel bar like this one here. It's with the ceramic ends and the acrylic little plastic bar in the middle there. And those were um, attached to the wall and they had caulking around it. So to take them off, I think I filmed taking them off. I scored the caulking with just a, you like a exacto knife. And then I tapped really gently using, I put a flat screwdriver in the little crevice that I had made between the wall and the ceramic base. And then I tapped really gently all around with a hammer until the pieces gave way. So I removed the toilet paper roll, which was just one spot, and then both ends of the towel bar. And I do have the new hardware. So I bought a set on Amazon, it's really pretty. It comes with one or two towel bars and the toilet paper roll, a hook, and a little hand towel ring that I'm gonna put over by the uh, sink. 
So once this dries, I'm going to tape everything and repaint the whole room. Okay, so we're going to be installing the towel bar and also the toilet roll holder. And the kit comes with this piece of paper that has markings on it so you know exactly where to drill your holes. And the kit that I bought was from Amazon and I can link it below for you. It comes with the small, uh, so I think it was an 18 inch towel bar, the 24 inch, the toilet paper roll, the little circular hand towel holder, and also a hook. So um, I'm going to be using the larger towel rod for this bathroom. And then eventually when I do the downstairs powder room, I'll use the little, um, the smaller one for in there. So I've taped that to the wall and checked with the leveler. It's pretty level, but I've also realized the window must be a little bit slanted <laughs> because it's not quite perfect, but I think it's okay. So it says that you need a quarter inch um, bit. So that's what I've got here. And it comes with a little kit like this. So the first thing that we need to do is drill the holes and then insert the little those plastic pieces. I forget what they're called, so let's just do this. to go too far. One second, I need a hammer. Okay, so the anchors are in on that side. Now we're just gonna do it on the side. Let's just put that in there and then just hammer it in. Okay, so then we're gonna put this little bracket against the wall and then put the two screws where they belong. 